No, okay. Just down. Okay, rice, dal. What's this? This is a uh, flower. Okay. Alu flower, alu flower. Looks nice. Let me get some, please. So, can I get some? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Prabhu. Uh, just look. Yeah, that's it. And some dal, please. On top, yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, thank you, Prabhu. You want to try coconut? Mom? Yeah, coconut, please, yeah. This is coconut mixed with. Perfect. Can I have in the middle here? That's, that's, coconut, huh? that's perfect. I love coconut. I love coconut. Oh, I love this one as well. What's the name of this one? This is beans, beans. This is my favorite. A little bit more, please. Yeah, thank you. You want as much as you can. Thank you. And one chapati, is possible? How many? Just one, please. Ek, ek. Ek. Okay, Hare Krishna. Anything else? What's this? This is bhakri. This is sweet pongal. This is sweet fire. Sweet? This is sweet. Is that halva? Yes, yes. Can I have some, please? You want this? No, no, no. This, no? this, yeah, thank you. Oh. Uh, Thank you, Prabhuji. If you want more, you can have it. That's perfect. Thank you, Prabhuji. This is Suran, elephant leg. What's it, what's it called? Suran, Suran. Elephant leg? Yeah. Yeah, let me take a little bit. Please, yeah, thank you. Maybe just here, yeah. You want a little? Yeah, please. Thank you, Prabhuji. So, yeah, this is just another plate of goodness. Another day in the temple. Hare Krishna, welcome back. Um, I don't know which video I'm going to put up first, the tour of the ashram or this one. Either way, if you haven't watched the other one, go and watch that. Uh, if not, you're here, so yeah, welcome to this video. I'm just going to give a quick tour of you know the temple, that is the main thing outside of the ashram. So if we take a look around here, these are the, the temple grounds. So part of the temple, you see, is Govinda's restaurant. So they have that right there. Um, Got a little security thing over here when you come in. You see Prabhuji's being, you know, metal detector. Uh, us actually, we're like VIPs, we just walk through. Um, but yeah, let's go. So, in there is like a little Kirtan hall that uh, I actually recorded yesterday. Uh, I think back to Godhead, like number 50. I think you're just a little glimpse of that. The one about the facade. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go. Yeah, so generally, as a guest, when you come in here, um, go to the shoe store. Catch Prabhuji, catch Prabhuji. Yes, I can. Oh, wow, wow. What's your name? My name is Baladev Bhaktadas. Okay, wow, wow, wow. And you're from India, obviously? Yes. Whereabouts? Thank you, pardon? Where, where, where? Eh? I'm staying in Mumbai itself. Wow, wow, wow. Near by 10 minutes drive. Wow. And what do you do day to day? See, day to day my job is like to, you know, uh, calling America hoteliers to distribute the Bhagavad Gita. Oh, wow! Just putting the Bhagavad Gita in all rooms. Wow! Every day, more than 200 Bhagavad Gitas. I am wow. taking in orders to put the Bhagavad Gita into the hotels. Motels, wow! Yeah, wow. and also I am, you know, uh, calling the Indian community in U.S. for raising fund for Anna Amrita. Uh, the students who are staying in India underprivileged students. Mm. I am raising fund for them mm. nice. for their day-to-day -day meal. Nice, nice, nice. So I am a small-time actor. Wow. It's my hobby. Wow. I am a small-time actor. I work in TV, movie. Wow. So you love the camera. You are natural with the camera. Yes. <laughs> See, I am natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm Maybe we have some similar energies in our astrological chart. What's this tattoo here? This tattoo is like, you know, initially it was... Uh, oh, you written, changed it? Yeah, initially uh, there was a Makhanchor it was written. What's that? Makhanchor is the name of the Krishna. Oh, okay. And uh, then uh, some people, you know, told me that just remove it. Oh, okay. So you covered it? So I covered it with the peacock feather. Oh, wow. Nice. And nice glasses so, you have. Yeah, glasses. Cool glasses. Yeah. Show, show them, show them. Yes. These glasses are from Polo Eyewear. Ooh. One of my friends have a shop nearby. They are really nice, Prabhuji. Yes. If I was to wear glasses, I would wear something very similar to that. Do it, do They're it. great style. 
I'm I'm a small time you know person struggling in Krishna consciousness. We all are. That's why we're here. That's why we're here yeah. to sharpen ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Okay, Prabhuji, what's your name? My name is Baladeva Bhaktadas. Wow, powerful man. Nice to meet you. Yes, yes. Nice to meet you. Hare Krishna. Look, pure devotee chanting his rounds. Hare Krishna. So yeah, over here. Can I have this clip with me? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take. Um, you want to take my phone number? Yeah, please. I will. Okay. Because that you know that you just glorify this back yeah. yeah. to glasses. Yeah, yeah. So I will say this. Send this video. Let me put my number. In the yeah. I don't want to say it out loud. Yeah. Um, Ah, England. Oh, England. You know England? Yes, I know. In UK. Yeah. Akeem, London. Okay? Yeah. So message me on WhatsApp. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, okay. message me on WhatsApp and I'll send it to you. Thank okay. you. Okay, Arrivo. Thank you. Um, yeah, so this is the shoe store. I think I explained in another video how this process works. So no, no, no. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so I think I explained briefly in another video. Basically, you come to Trapeze here. Basically, you give him your shoes, your slippers, and exchange. Uh, but he puts it in a bag, and then he gives you a token. So that's kind of how it works. And when you leave, you exchange the token, and Trapeze sorts you out. But let's go around here. I haven't been around here before. As you can see, there's a lot of space for the shoes and slippers, because there's a lot of people, a lot of devotees that come here. Um, there's actually not anything around here, so let's go back. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. It's a shame the lighting's not so good right now, that's a real shame. Hopefully the camera um, works some magic. So here we just have some books. I think none of them are in English. None of them are in English. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, lecture of instruction, I've read that. Besides the Gita, this is the only one I've read. Um, and actually, you know. It's very interesting, this book, because it was kind of made for me in a way. You know me, unfortunately, I relate everything back to myself, but um, where is it? So here it says the 20th of September, so that's my birthday. So I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. But check this, on the first page, um, it says, all right, go on, capture me reading this, because this is like so relevant to me. Is the lighting okay? Can you see? Yeah, I can see you. Okay. Um, Okay, when an intelligent person hears from the law books and shastras or scriptures that stealing is not good and hears that a thief is punished when arrested, he refrains from theft. A less intelligent person may first have to be arrested and punished for stealing to learn to stop stealing. However, a rascal, a foolish man, <coughs> me, may have the experience of both hearing and seeing and may even be punished, but still continues to steal. Even if such a person atones and is punished by the government, he will again commit theft as soon as he comes out of jail. If punishment in, in jail is considered atonement, what is the benefit of such atonement? Um, yeah, so that's the first page of the Nectar of Instruction. And you know, if you look back at my old videos, you can see that I had this continuous theme of breaking the law, being punished, and still, still opting, even though for well knowing, you know, the punishment and what I'm doing is wrong, still continuing. So yeah, in the words of Prabhupada, um, I'm a rascal and I'm a foolish man. But you know, by Krishna's mercy, age 31, I'm trying to rectify and purify myself. Let's go. There's some sort of business here, some camera. Yeah, why is it so dark today? It's cloudy, it looks like. Hopefully this way is open, so yeah. Um, this garden is beautiful. Just catch up there quickly to show, like, we're actually in the city. Like. Okay, it's locked. Let's go back around this way. Could do some pull-ups. <laughs> so here we kind of have like public toilets, 
for, for menopause. I was going to open it, but maybe, you know, quite breach of privacy. Just got to here, this is like, I don't know what's going on here. I think that's the back of the kitchen over there, so maybe this is kind of the stuff uh, for the kitchen. But if we go in here, we have, um, yeah man, we got Vrindavan Forest. Uh, we're going to Vrindavan next week, shout out Vrindavan, let's go. So yeah. Man, I'm really upset about the lighting guys, honestly. I wish today was That's like... So you reckon it's alright? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Well, at least my bald head is shining. Let's go. <laughs> Let's follow the lights. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm not sure what this space is used for. However, I am considering making a nice like yoga video here of me just doing like a little morning routine um, in the nice background. Um, yeah, the lighting is not so good right now. So let's just quickly show this here. Is that a cow? Uh, this is Tulasi. Yeah. Okay, this is Tulasi. Okay. Okay, so we were just talking upstairs about Tulasi. So, um, so w explain the different form, like why... Um, so also, as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but she has a power. A power? In her hand. Okay. What does the power represent? So the parrot, uh, because Tulasi is very merciful, very mm -hmm. compassionate. Mm -hmm. Basically what she does, is when a devotee does something good, mm -hmm. she tells the parrot, and the parrot goes and tells Krishna. Oh wow. So she has billions of parrots like this. Wow, wow, wow. And wow. this is why in the material world, the parrots, you know, they repeat everything you say. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they are messengers in the spiritual world. Very interesting, man. And I swear in the manor there's a few parrots flying around. Have you seen them? Yeah, the green ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's quite a lot actually. Interesting, interesting. Um, and, and what about here? What can you tell us anything about this here? Is this like a pasta? What does it say there? Kalia? I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a few fish in there. Yeah man, I'm really hoping that the, the lighting is okay for this one because it's so beautiful here. Alright, let's continue, let's continue. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Where are you going to upload On YouTube. Yeah, what channel? You want to write it down? No phone. This guy wants. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you guys from? From here. Oh, you live around here? Yeah, Mumbai Center. How old are you? I am 13. 13? Wow. 14, 14. When are you, four, when are you 15? When's your birthday? 14, now 14. When is when are you 15? When is your birthday? Second September. September? Yeah. Me too. So is Jagannath. We're all September babies. This guy yeah. also second Serious? September. Serious? Yeah, really. Which day? Second September. Both second yeah. September? Yeah. You're twins? No, we are not twins. That's but why you're connected. The same year? Yeah. Same year, same Show these Prabhus. Same They're both. What, what time? Uh, time is not matching, but day and month. You, know. you should check the ast astrology together. Because you have very similar things, that's why you two are very connected. Yeah, we're going to check it. Go on, write it down, you need to write it down. We'll check it out then. Um, undeniable, you may not be able to... Yeah, let me write it down, let me write it down. You don't have a phone? I have it. I think the battery is running low. Is it? Yeah. Undeniable. Undeniable. Okay, there we go. I'll upload this in a few days so you'll see yeah. it. What's your name? Raghunath and this is Adi. Okay, Haribo, nice to meet you guys. Okay. Yes, Do you I... need lights? No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Well, yeah. we We're going now anyway because the battery is running out apparently. So let's quickly show you this. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So yeah, if you see here, that's beautiful. I don't know what that means. What's this? They have them everywhere. Mm. A temple. Sorry, spot, yeah. Looks oh, like wow. Jagannath temple there. Wow. Look, look who's here. Hello. Mm. So the other day, other morning in Japa period, I came here to chant and I was met by this other cat and I was just chanting with a cat on my lap. It was a really nice experience. The cats here are really just like... Um, I love cats. I love dogs and I love cats for two different reasons. Mainly these because they have the, you know, that real feminine aspect. They're so precious and gentle and um, you have to be real soft with them, you know? What's your name? 